Welcome to the Great Garment Graphics video training series. In this session we're going to create a design using the template tool in CADWorksLive.com. Let's go over to the software. Now we're in CADWorksLive.com. For this session we're going to select Create a Design. And in Create a Design we're going to work with the template tool. So we need to select New from Template. The templates you see up are something that I created. Those others are my files. So we're going to double click on Categories. Double click on Template. And for this session we're going to select and create something for basketball. These are templates for basketball. There's several pages of them. Now if you don't find something that you want in basketball, you can choose a template from a different category. For example, we can go up to say Auto. And we'll select that first template, the word, uh, the one Corvette. <clears throat> and right now it's loading. And there's our Corvette template. So we're going to zoom to fit. So we can see a little bit better. Now we have to edit our, our template. So we're going to select the word Corvette. You can see the size is 9.72. So we're going to select Edit Text. And we'll change the word Corvette to, how about East Henderson? And we'll apply and say OK. We'll select the word East Henderson and resize that to 9.72. And we'll reselect East Henderson and position it over the stripe. And now we'll edit the other text. And we'll put in there Basketball 2009. And now we have our East Henderson Basketball 2009. We're going to delete the Corvettes and we're going to add some clip art. So in clip art, we have to double click on clip art and we're going to double click on sports. And we'll just choose the first basketball design here. For this design, we're not going to use the background, so I'm going to select the background and delete it. Select the basketball, we're going to have to resize it. And I'm going to select the stripe, hold down my shift key, select the word East Henderson, and just move it up slightly. Now everything is not centered at this time and that's okay because matter of fact we're going to take some of the design and, and offset it just so you sh show you how to, to line everything up. So I'm going to select the whole design, go up to arrange and select center. Now everything is properly centered. Now in vector cut, we cut by color. And right now we've got about four colors in this design. We want to make it a two color design. So I'm going to select East Henderson. 
my shift key held down I'm going to select everything I'm going to be making a one one of the colors and now we have a two color design so we can now send this over to our cutting software the vector cut and let me reposition it so we can see it on screen and this is our cutting software we want to fit objects so we can see it real well so there's our two color job again we cut by color one of our colors and there's our other color so we're going to select all and we have to mirror our design And for this session we're going to rotate it because we're going to do multiple copies and I want to maximize the use of the material in a moment here we're going to give it a value of 10 copies we select auto origin to position it on the material now the blue rectangle that you see on screen represents the material size. Now we select one of our colors, put in for 10 copies, and we'll view the objects here. And as you can see, there is some wasted material in the design. We're going to work with that in just a moment here. Right now we got our other color up, our 10 copies. There's a little bit of wasted space in here, but we don't want to throw that away. Because we can save that material and put it back into the cutter and use that at a later date. So we'll put that color material into the cutter and then select send to cutter. Go back to our other color. Again, change the material color and then send that to cutter. Now, there's another option in here. We're going to get out of our cutting software, go back to our design. And since we cut by color, I'm going to select the stripes in the word basketball 2009 and change the color on that to to a different color. That will give me a three color design. <clears throat> and I'm going to stretch it out so we can see it on screen. Same design, now it's a three color design. We want to mirror our design, we want to rotate it, auto origin to place it properly on the material. And fit material. Now when I select the different colors auto origin and put in the value of 10 copies in here you see it fits very nice on the material. Don't change the material on in, in the cutter. Now I can send that other color We really made maximum use of the material. That's just a different option. I suggest playing with the material. See what works for you. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. Also check for a Great Carmen Graphics Seminar in your area.